Hi, my name is Caroline O'Neill and I live in Los Angeles, California. I'm the mother of two children whom I dearly love. On May 6, 2004, my children were four and seven years old and we survived an armed robbery. During the course of the robbery, the gunman cocked his revolver and put it in the face of my preschooler. My seven-year-old hid behind a trash can and watched this happen. As any mother would do, I stepped between the gunman and my baby, knowing full well that at that close range, when the gunman shot me, the bullet would go through me and into the child. But it was the only way I could shield my baby, and so I did. I literally looked down the barrel of a cocked revolver and knew, this is the day I die, this is how I die. In my head, I said, God, I am not afraid to die, but please don't let me die from being shot in the face at point blank range in front of my two small children because their lives will be ruined. They will never be the same. They will never have the lives that they could have had. I looked into the eyes of the gunman and they were a void. It was chilling to see there was no emotion there whatsoever. I don't know if it was an act of God, but something in the eyes shifted. The gunman robbed me. He and his cohort who had a knife ran off leaving my children and me broken. When I saw him cock his revolver and put it in the chubby round face of my four-year-old, something in my psyche broke. And I remember the moment and I remember thinking, I'm never going to be 100% again. And I will tell you that now I am 25% of the person I used to be. The effects of gun violence on the psyche, even if you aren't killed, even if you aren't shot, you have had violence ruin your life, your sense of safety, your sense of well-being, even your mental health. Early life. Gun violence is a major risk factor for the development of psychological and behavioral problems later in life. Higher rates of depression, suicidality, anxiety disorders, post-traumatic stress disorder, and even the development of bipolar disorder can be linked to being traumatized in early childhood by gun violence. 